reach Russia's next move. The Kremlin insists they will not start a war with Ukraine, but the U.S. says Russia is in a position to invade. The Kremlin trying to pressure NATO to guarantee that Ukraine will never join the alliance. Russia moving more than 100,000 troops to the Ukraine border with tanks, armored vehicles, and setting up field hospitals indicating they could be preparing for combat casualties. Russia even positioning troops in yep, nearby war ready. However, Ukraine's president is doubling down on the threat Russia poses. <laughs> president Zelensky with a message not to stir up panic as the U.S. goes on alert to support neighboring countries. I'll be moving U.S. troops to Eastern Europe and the NATO countries in the near term. A U.S. official telling ABC News no deployment orders have been given. Most military experts, though, say the force Russia massed on the border is not ready for a major invasion. But Joint Chiefs Chairman Mark Milley warning of a horrific outcome if Russia does invade Ukraine. Given the type of forces that are arrayed, if that was unleashed on Ukraine, it would be significant, very significant, and it would result. Take this in with a grain of salt, but this is what's currently going on right now. It's ready to respond if necessary. We placed thousands of U.S. troops on prepared to deploy orders earlier this week. If NATO activates its response forces, these troops will be ready to go. And today, we got an inside look at a civil defense training class, about 200 women attending, learning personal defense tactics and survival tips in the event of an invasion. Here in Kiev and across this country, there isn't a sense of panic just yet. But people are preparing for an invasion. Now, one big takeaway from that course is that the key to survive a potential invasion or war is to have a plan. And the folks that we've spoken to here in Kiev say that is what they're focused on. Today, all right, Stephanie Ramos there in Kiev. Thank you so much. And now let's bring in ABC News contributor Colonel Steve Gannier, the former Defense and State Department. Yep, it's going down. Everybody get ready. So this is the current situation right now. But I will be back to report on it. But I'm going to keep it going. But this is what's going on right now. Department official, he joins us from Washington. Steve, good morning to you. Let's start with the diplomatic channels. They don't seem to be working. What do you think are the options here? And how do you see this playing out? Really, Janet, the only option we have, the West has, the NATO has, that the U.S. has, is to let the diplomatic process continue to play out. It's been frustrating. It's slow. It doesn't seem like it's working, but the U.S. really has no other choices. Remember that Ukraine is not, uh, it's not a member of NATO, uh, and so the U.S. nor any, none of the NATO countries are going to commit troops to defend Ukraine. So really, exactly. the only tools the U.S. has, or NATO has, is to continue the diplomatic pressure to keep Russia from invading. And Steve, we're getting these mixed messages that, you know, Russia has moved unprecedented amounts of equipment, military vehicles, but mostly manned by skeleton crews. As Stephanie just reported there, many say that they're just not ready for a major invasion. What do you make of the mixed messaging from Ukraine's president trying to calm fears versus the Pentagon? Yeah, m most military analysts uh, say that it would probably require another two to three weeks for the Russians to truly invade uh, uh, Ukraine with a, with a good chance to succeed. Remember, it's almost the size of Texas, and they only have about 100,000 troops. So big area, not that many troops. The U.S., though, wants to continue to sound the alarm. They want to keep NATO on side. Uh, France and Germany have been off on their own a bit in the past couple weeks. So the president here is trying to keep all of NATO on side, continue to keep the diplomatic pressure up. On the other hand, the Ukrainian president doesn't want to create panic. He doesn't want people heading for the exits, trying to get out of the country. He wants to maintain. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to let it go right there, but that's what's going on. Take it with a grain of salt, but. That's the current update. I will be back shortly. Peace. Subscribe to the channel.